Greetings and welcome to Gladiabots. I'm Catherine of Sky and today's release day for this game. Now this is kind of a funky game. I first became aware of this game when I saw the developer streaming this game on Twitch, uh, the coding of the game on Twitch. And I was like, oh, that looks really cool. This is not a tower defense. This is not some kind of a brawler. This is a programming game. And I knew that you guys might want to see this because so many people out there are coders and programmers and are interested in that kind of thing and what you're going to do is um, you get your robots and you program their behavior and try to outsmart AI or real people so um, this is a first impressions video I have never played the game before so I really want to see how it is what it's like uh, and all the cool stuff that's available in the game first of all we have a tutorial uh looks like multiplayer where the real competition takes place fight each other in asynchronous matches outsmart their ais and reach the top of the leaderboard then we have a campaign um sandbox mode okay team setup edit your team composition and unlock new skins looks like we have a hundred a thousand credits here to unlock skins so that could be kind of cool uh this is where you can edit your ais we have discord wiki optimization pack that's a dlc thing i think for unlocking new skins and then we've got the bug report thingy settings x i love well I, I was looking the one thing i looked at was the settings like i could adjust this and it like slides very nicely there just telling oh i love that i love when you can just like have numbers so you can um yeah anyway it's cool um all right so we're gonna start with a tutorial because i'm like oh no you know what let's look at can we look at the skins here uh before trying this mode it's a mode let's go training let's be tutorial let's go basic training how about that all right introduction Woohoo! wow this is really kind of snazzy here Welcome to Gladiabots, the ultimate robot fighting competition. The rule is simple. This In this match, your team, Blue, must defeat the enemy team, Red. Okay, there's Zap. I'm not doing anything. They're just, like, going toward each other. Robots are autonomous. You can't control them manually. They obey their artificial intelligence, AI. Okay, what do I do? Oh, select. This is the AI of the robot you've just selected. Okay. It's composed of two kinds of nodes, conditions, which are ovals. So that's like a decider thing imaging like an if statement maybe. And then actions are rectangles. Okay, so we got what? If enemy bot at short range or medium range. Okay, so these are the range things. Oh, these icons are really good. If it's greater than equal to one, uh, greater than or equal to one, you attack the closest enemy bot attack closest enemy bot okay so the white is the close thingy majingy okay so this is what happens if that happens and this is otherwise you move toward the closest enemy bot okay so i guess this is the first thing it checks this condition then it goes to the other one okay nice bots can only execute one action at a time they check their ai from left to right okay just as we suspected counterclockwise actually all right searching for the first valid branch all right that's interesting control playback using these buttons hover over buttons to reveal their function we got play and resume slow motion step by step fast forward okay pause all right can we look at the other ones okay this one is not close enough so this one is doing the move toward closest nice okay so let's go and play oh that one chose this one nice whoa we're getting toasted man we are getting dead totally deaded it's a rough time okay so they're shooting i was afraid we wouldn't survive i mean one of our bots did actually die kind of rough okay mission complete next basic training attack let's see how to program your bot to attack the enemy okay so we use edit ais this is ai editor here you will program your bots okay great this is the root node the starting point of your ai an action okay so we attack closest enemy bot for this action to be executed you need to link it okay so we just draw it there that's nice we can back oh ready okay oh dear okay it's confusing that one it's like poor dude okay victory yay next all right approach then attack okay so i guess let's look 
Oh, I guess we're just ready. Okay, apparently we're ready. Select. Okay, your robot is programmed to attack short or medium range enemies. It needs to approach its target first. Okay. So, evaluate. How do we do things? Oh, there we go. Edit here. Okay, so we need to move toward closest. So, I guess we'll just link this that way so it does this instruction first. Uh. Is this going to work? Because it, is it just going to keep moving? Until it's like right next to it? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what it does. I'm curious. Ready. Okay, we did this. Moving. Short range. Okay, it's moving, moving, moving. And it keeps on moving. Just what I thought was going to happen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's a bug in this AI. See, it made us do bugs. This naughty game. All right. The highest priority leftmost node is to move toward the enemy. Whatever happens, it will means it will never try to attack it. Let's fix this. This is actually really good learning, though. This is a, this is a good thing. All right. Remind, a reminder, the AI nodes are not executed from left to right. They're not executed, but checked from left to right. Counterclockwise, this way. Fix this AI by shifting the move action to the right. Okay, so if it doesn't see a bot, it does this. So it's going to check if there is something in range. All right, I think we, we're good with this. Let's try that again. Okay, ready? Let's go. Aha. Okay, it sees stuff. There we go. Nice. And this one doesn't have the range, so it's like, oh, just kill me harder. Man, it's rough. Mission complete. Good, good. Use your shield. Ooh, your robot is now equipped with a shield. White bar. It absorbs damage before its health bar is impacted. If your shield doesn't receive any damage for a time, it will automatically regenerate. Nice. Okay. Uh, sounds good. So do we need to look at this? Let's flee from the enemy if your shield is empty. This is a condition. Okay. Other nodes. Okay, this is a condition. Other nodes can be linked below it. They will then be checked if the condition is valid. Okay, so let's see what this is. If myself, empty shield. Okay, the if is the circle or the oval. Myself might be this pointer thingy. If shield not full, empty. Then do this thing, flee from closest bot. Okay, so this is what we need to do then. This makes sense. Okay, let's go back and try this. Select and go. All right, so they're going to shoot at me. There's a bunch of them and uh, only one of me. Oh, it's like, okay, it's fine. It's fine. But it's not going to... Okay, so we don't check to see if the shield is full before we um, come back, though. It's only when it's when it starts refilling, that's when it starts to come back because it's checking for complete emptiness, I believe. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. This is quite cool though. This whole like programming your bots to do stuff. It's kind of neat. It's a cool thing. Okay. Shoot it. Go, 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 go. Boom, dead. Yes, victory, next. Basic training. All right. So let's see how to create nodes. Ah, yes, that would be a good idea. Attack. Okay. We can, yes, do what? Here. Ah, first select the type of node. Okay. We can have an, oh dear. There's many menus here. Select an onion. Uh, uh, okay. Attack. Target type. Oh God, I missed that. Enemy bot, I guess. Sure. Use filters to refine your target research. Okay. Ah, here we have the ranges. Oh, if I guess short distance or medium range. Okay. And then, okay. Attack enemy bot. If uh, let's do, yeah, we could select the closest or the furthest. All right. That's kind of neat. There we go. So that's fine. Um, I guess we also need to do the whole move toward closest thing action. Let's do attack. Oh no, not, not attack. Do we, we want a move thing. Hello? Where's the move? Wait. So this is within range here. No, I'm not ready. I need to, I need to figure out one thing. How do I get the whole, 
condition. No, I want a move thingy. Okay, all right. I think it wants us to do one thing at a time. All right, let's just do that. Okay, that was easy. Okay, approach, then attack. Yes, I remember where to place the move action. Yes, I know. I know. Okay, so it's just basically telling us to do things one step at a time. Select target enemy bot. If distance from me is out of range, then move toward it. Or I guess long range or out of range, maybe. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the closest. Move toward the closest one. Okay, I think we can only do out of... Wait, I'm not sure about this whole long range thing. Because uh, this one is not actually attacking the long range one. Can I do that? Let's see, edit. Can I select this one? Sure, apply. Okay, so again, it's going to attack first. And if it doesn't find anything, then it'll go to that condition. Duplicate nodes. Nice. With links, copy, cut, paste, I assume. Nice. This is a great menu. I like this. Okay, what do we got? Snap nodes to grid. Ooh, what's that? So you could make it really neat and tidy if you wanted to. That's cool. All right, so toggle selection mode. Oh, tasty, tasty. So it looks like you could go all around this. So it would start clockwise. That's what they were talking about, about clockwise. So because you have this very nice sort of building space. Wow, this is a very big building space. Holy fuzzy cats. That's quite a lot of space here. Oh, geez. It goes on forever. Okay, that's nice. We now know how this goes. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so I th comment mode. Oh, you can write things. Hi. Let's see what it does, what, what it does with our comment. Oh, okay. So you can just put these little comment things anywhere you want, I guess. That's really interesting. All right. So let's see what we did. We got here with our. So it's like, <laughs> it's attacking it at long range. This is great. It's like still out of range. Like that Bob, poor thing. It's like, no, no, can't, can't even fight back. It does seem to miss a little bit though, when it's at long range. I think it's more accurate, maybe at short or medium range. It'll be fine though. We'll just kill it and it's going to be good. Victory next. All right. Use your shield. Yep. Okay. We're just basically replicating what we did with the other stuff. Condition if myself, right? If shield at zero or shield low, um, If it exists, right? Uh, okay, apply. Then we action, uh, move, flee. Okay, we're gonna flee. Flee from enemy bot. Flee from, oh dear. What do we do here? Hold on. Um, toggle favorite. Interesting. Favorite targets. Distance from me. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do here. I guess closest. This one would be... I forgot what we do with this. Flee from enemy bot. Flee from the closest. Maybe we don't need to have these things at all. Because I think closest is, is going to be... Uh, let's see how this works. If it doesn't work, then obviously we need to do something different. All right, we're walking. It's good. It's fine. Oh, wow. They're really shooting good. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. So let's fast forward this. I think it's going to work. Just going to keep on going. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice. Okay, next... All right, collection mode. Oh, what is this? Oh, those are very nice little spinny thingy majingies. In collection mode, your mission is to catch resources. Let's look at that. And Oh, and score them to your base. 
Okay. Ready? Sure. Yeah, if we, if we kill this guy, he can't catch the resources. Alright, so then what? What are we supposed to do now? Okay, looks like we need to figure this out. Ah, we didn't look at this. Okay, so we're attacking stuff. And then what is this? If myself carrying resource, score resource to closest ally base. Okay, this is catch resource. Okay, so that's, so that's, that's interesting. So it'll go through left to right. So we need to get the resources here. Um, and then if we're carrying them, we take them to the base. So let's look at these items. If myself carrying resource. So this is the empty claw. Um, catch closest resource. Okay. Uh, and then we go here. Score resources to closest ally base. Okay, so peaceful base. Closest. These are really interesting emoticon. Or, yeah, icon thingies. I like this. Okay, let's go back. Select. Let's try it again. Okay, so they were moving toward those resources until they uh, until my bot saw the enemy. Okay, notice how slow your bot is when carrying a resource. Ooh, unable to attack. Okay, take that into consideration when designing your AI for this mode. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we've seen this already. Thing, it's fine. All right, good, good. It's gonna grip another one. Excellent. Okay, it's carrying it. I kind of expected it to have like a little carrier basket underneath or like a, a claw underneath. Um, but it's good. Okay, it's very slow. Very slow. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Victory has been achieved. Next. Domination mode. What is that? In domination mode, your mission is to capture and hold bases. Once a base is captured, it will regularly score points. Okay, so what do we do with this? Okay. So we have attack the closest enemy bot at short or medium range. Then we have capture new closest neutral base. Capture closest enemy base. That makes sense, I guess. And otherwise we move toward the bot. Okay, let's try there the program that's been set for us. Okay, your bot captures the base as soon as it enters the short range zone. Note that the more bots are capturing a base, the faster they capture it. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so it's better to have more bots out here. The base is now captured and will start scoring points. Note that the more points, more bots are staying on a base, the faster it will score. Oh, right, okay. So now we're gonna shoot this one, this guy here. We had a shield, so that protected us. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the next base. What if they still score points, even if like nobody's there? Probably, I guess. Okay, boom. So now we're capturing. Very good. Okay, very nice. So I guess we have a timer on this level. Okay, and we win. Yay! <laughs> Achievement completed. I know Kung Fu. Excellent. Congratulations, you completed the basic training section. You may now try campaign mode or continue your training. Let's keep on continuing the training. I think it's a good thing to like maybe have the first episode of this series be the training thing. Okay, if A or B. Oh, wow, we have all... Wow, there's stuff going on. Okay, there's plenty more to explore. Let's look. All right. Ready. What are we looking at here? You need to test if the enemy is at short range or medium range. Here's how an A or B AI looks like. A or B, so yeah, okay, fine. So we use an or thing, okay. If enemy at short range, uh, yes. Or if enemy at medium range, attack the closest enemy. I'm not sure why, okay. Sure, okay, so we're waiting for it to come here. Looks like they can only fire when they're stopped. Okay. Oh, I already fixed it. Thanks. 
<laughs> I fixed it already. <laughs> Looked at this. I connected it ahead of time. Okay, so now we know what it was trying to teach us. All right, if A and B. All right, now you have a limited time to complete the mission. All right. You don't always need to flee when your shield is low, so you may check the number of remaining enemy bots. Here's how A and B AI looks like. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So if empty shield, then flee. If... Do we do like this kind of thing? I'm not quite sure about this. If enemy bot greater to... Greater than or equal to two, then flee. So I think we, we need to remove this connection. So like this, is that how we do it? Not quite sure about this actually. Um, all right. Then flee. I think, I hope. So basically, if there's still two bots remaining, we want to flee with the shield. If not, then we want to kill the other one. Oh boy. Wow. Holy fuzzy cats. We almost died there. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Each bot can use its own AI, allowing you to use team-based strategies. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So team setup. We have two attackers. There's two thingy majingies. Okay, test different combinations of AIs to complete the mission. Okay, so we're gonna edit these attackers. Ah, yes, default attacker. Okay, can we look at this? Attacker is going to attack closest enemy bot or move toward, all right, that's fine. The gatherer is going to score the resources. Okay, that seems fine. So we wanna have gatherer and attacker ready. Let's try it, see how it works. Oh boy. Okay, so we got that guy. Wow, this one is very slow. But we're gonna make it. It's gonna be fine. Okay, so we're gonna have to go this way. We have to wait for the gatherer to, to get stuff. Okay. We could have sped it up, I guess, by having the attacker, if enemy bots equals zero or something, go get uh, stuff. GladiBots features several bot classes. Each class has its own strengths and weaknesses. The shotgun class has weaker health but moves fast, except when carrying your resources, uh, does devastating damage at short range. Take a look at how the blue circles surrounding your bot... Uh, to know the hit chances for each range. Ah, that's quite nice. That's very, very good. Okay, so what do we got? Shotgun is more effective at short range. Let's wait for the enemy to be close enough to attack it. So we have attack closest bot at short range or at medium range. Okay, edit. All right, we want to do not medium range. Wow. No, no, I mean, can I just delete this? There we go. Attack it at short range. Apply. Oh, you know what? We could attack it at medium range. That's fine. I think it's good. Because if that bot approaches me... Wait, are we going? We are moving. Okay, you know what? Let's take off the medium range then. Okay, hello cat. Greetings, my Araminta. Good girl. Nice cat. Okay, go back. See how this works. This is the shotgun enemy. Kaboom. Wow, that's pretty bad. Okay, next. Sniper. Okay, the sniper class moves very slowly, has weak shield and health, but always hits whatever the attack range except out of range, inflicting high damage. Okay, so let's look at this attacker here. Okay, so short, it's 100% at each range. So let's see what we have here. More effective at long range, uh, because we want to stay out of the thing, I think. Attack. We want to edit this. Attack it at every range. Okay, apply. 
And then I guess we need to move close to it to make sure that it's within range. So, yeah, it's just within range. So, ready? There we go. Does pretty decent damage over here. Boom. It's very slow shooting, though. Or it feels like it's slower than the other bots. Okay, we've got a machine gun now. The machine gun moves very slowly, has very long aiming time, but it's very resistant, huge firepower, and isn't slowed down while carrying resources. Wow. It isn't slowed down? Really? Interesting. Okay. Those are the ones I think we've been playing with, maybe? So let's just check these out. All right. So we have, wow, long range is 10% hit chance. That's really not good. Medium range is 50% and short range is okay. Okay, machine gun unleashes huge firepower, but takes time to aim. Should continue attacking the same target until it goes out of range. Okay, so attack closest enemy bot, shorter medium range. Um, okay, so this is taking... That's interesting. Attack closest enemy bot, which is not out of range. And attacked by me. Interesting. So if others move closer... I think it will still use the closest or the the bot that is that is still the target, I guess. Let's see how that works. Let's look. Okay, it's coming. Here we go. No, we haven't seen the machine gun bot. Wow. Holy fuzzy cats. Look at that. That's interesting. Okay, the enemy's coming up back up. So it is just like a continuous stream of fire. That is something else. Wow. That's quite impressive, I think. Go. Get. Run. Hurry. Go, 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 go. I wonder if we should let it only attack when it's in close range. But I don't know if this one will get to close range. All right, let's go and fast forward this thing. Boom. We hit it. Excellent. Next. Okay, team composition. Varying your team composition can change the result of the match. Okay, so let's see what we got. We got an att attacker, mark two, two, two. Let's see what we can do. That's the default. We have assault, shotgun, machine gun, sniper. Okay, so the assault is the default one. I really like that machine gun one. That's really good. Okay, let's go with that. Okay, and then this is going to be what? If my self empty shield flee, attack closest enemy bot at short range. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. If my self shotgun class, machine gun class. Or a sniper class. Oh, this is assault or machine gun. Great. Okay, so this is attack closest enemy bot at short or range, medium range. And we're going to edit this to the one that is the um, attacked by me thing. Let's see. Let's see. What was it? Um, wow, attacking an ally. Nice. Oh dear, there's so many options here. Holy fuzzy cats. Hmm. Attacked by me. Okay. Okay, I think we're gonna do this. Let's just add that one and see if it's okay. So then we have sniper class, shotgun class see what we can do with this then let's check the next one so we have one machine gun and then one let's do one shotgun class okay and then we'll do one sniper how about that wait we can customize these oh do we have the unlocked oh nice very cool Okay, so these are the different color patterns, and then you can choose the one that you want. Like, whoa, holy fuzzy cats. Oh, that's kind of neat, actually. I like this. Oh, yellow and gray. That's kind of cool. I like this. 
<gasps> no, it's expensive. I need to earn more of these thingy majingies. Holy fuzzy cats. Wow. All right, I can't do that. I can't, I can't buy it. No. Uh, all right, it's fine. It'll be fine. Okay, that's fine. Shotgun class, sure. And then this guy, I'm not sure if sniper is worth it, but we'll try it anyway. We'll try one of each. Basically. Oh, wow, it looks like an ATAT -AT kind of. Uh, all right. Let us go. Yeah, ready. Go. Oh dear, I'm not sure what's going on here. No! This one is just... Oh dear, this is not going well. <laughs> this is really bad. No! Oh god, alright, restart. Team set up. Okay, so that didn't work at all. I think this is a bad thing to do here. I think I want to have machine gun for you. Sniper was okay too. Oh, we can't do more than 35%. Okay, let's do assault. I need. I think I need to check out the, the skill tree thing. I, I don't think I'm, I'm going to edit this thing, this whole attack by me thing, because maybe that's messing it up because I didn't see it attacking anybody. That was kind of rough. Okay, ready? Let's go. Go. It's attacking closest one. This is looking better-ish, maybe. Sort of better. <laughs> it's just like, this is, I don't know who's gonna win in this. This is really rough, actually. Oh, that machine gun is taking so long to aim. It's so bad. No. Okay, that one's dead. Yeah, those are moving out really fast. No, and that one's confused. The sniper can't target. That's so not good. Oh. Oh, that one has a better shield going on. No. Okay, we killed one of them. <laughs> this is bad. We're gonna die. I think my sniper's gonna die. Oh no! It was kind of close though. It was kind of close. Ah, <sighs> wow. Okay. This one was okay. I wonder if just two of these would be better. These are not really that. I don't know. What if I do two snipers? Hmm. Let's see. No, okay, it wants you to choose three different ones, basically. That's unfortunate. I kinda... So obviously we don't have the right comp yet, or we don't have the right instructions yet. Um, let's see, we can change this thing. The sniper thing. Yeah, attack any of them. I wonder if I should do attack like, is there a way to do like, there's closest or sh health, like shield, weakest shield percentage or weakest shield, uh, and weakest health. Oh, we have to choose one weakest shield. I think we'll do or no weakest health. I think. Let's do that. Let's try to do this. The weakest health. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to try this. Health, weakest health. Apply. Edit. Weakest health. Um, yeah. Apply. So it'll choose one eventually. And then, okay, I think it's good. And then if they have a shield, they, they walk away. All right. Let's try this and see if that works. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll have a go. All right, ready? Let's go. Uh, 
Okay, that one is still attacking that one, which is kind of a good thing. Okay, that one's shooting this one. Come on. Okay, we killed one of theirs. That was pretty quick. Now that we're focusing on the one that has the least health. Wow, that one is almost dead. Okay, so this is the way to do this. This is this is actually a better way to do things to just eliminate the bots one by one and we haven't lost a single bot yet this is great Woohoo! excellent okay there we go all right health packs health packs recharge your health to the maximum once you catch them once caught they disappear so use them wisely wow okay let's see what we got here we have if myself health between zero and 25 percent yeah go and get health pack that's a good idea Okay, let's see how this is going to work. Okay, go. Ready. Attack, attack, attack. So, shield. They're going to... No! Wow! Oh, dear. We need to recharge that, that thing. Okay, whoa, this is not good. <laughs> Okay, we got one. We're going to recharge our shield now. Whoa, we're way, way too close to that guy. We need to start regening the shield there. There comes... I don't know if we're going to win this, but we're going to try. Going to have a go. It's interesting that this one doesn't attack. Like, even at long range, but it still keeps attacking when I'm going away. Like, this is so silly. Like, oh, th this is very strange. Oh, no. Go, go. Quite sure what's going on with this. All right, just keep on attacking it, please. Okay, wow. That was kind of scary. Okay, force fields. Force fields reduce damage, taken damage when a bot captures one of them. Note that this effect is removed as soon as a bot moves from it. Only one bot can capture a cover spot. Don't let your opponent take advantage of it before you do. Oh, yes. Okay, so if myself empty shield, flee. Capture closest enemy force field. Yes. Go. Ready. Wow. Seems like they... No! Okay, so it's we're, we're leaping away. No. Okay. We could have done it if we... Maybe if we disconnected the shield thing. So they reduce incoming damage. Okay. Interesting. Victory! Okay, we're now ready to fight in multiplayer mode or continue your training. Well, I think that this is a good stopping point for this video. And I hope you've enjoyed this. And um, if you're interested in the game, just check it out. Thank you so very much for uh, joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.